guys, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to Arcolos. And sorry about that, I forgot to press record like a newbie. Uh, you didn't miss much. We just uh, killed a zombie over here. And this zombie is now stuck on a wall, I guess. That's his life right now. So let's uh, just skip to the point where uh, I killed the zombie and his friend over there in the distance. Okay, that guy is dead, and there's a swamp golem, and a couple of zombies in the distance, and also these uh, mud turtles, which we're gonna handle by using our lightning spell. So, apparently they do not take that much damage while in the water, as I was led to believe. Uh, yeah, let's uh, use this one. The fall back a bit. And let's uh, let's see. When he's completely submerged in the water, does he actually take more damage? Yes, he does. But they need to be submerged in the water. Okay. I get it. I get it. What do you mean nothing is there? He actually died drowning. Is that why we can't loot it? Huh. Uh, let's see. Actually kind of starting to run low on uh, stuff that uh, replenishes mana. Let's see. We have another mud turtle over here. Uh, we have a swamp zombie that's sleeping over there. Now, can I actually hit this drone from a distance? Yes, I can. So, a couple of more hits. Okay. So, extra damage to swarm drone wings. Cool. Extra damage to flying units. Let's uh, see. What else can we eat that restores our mana? So, this restores hit points. Uh, what else do we have? We have fish soup with herbs. Herbs too. Hmm. Let's uh, eat this herbs too. Okay. So, with the right tactics, we can handle everything. So, yep, I see a zombie. Zombie woke, you know what that means. Means we need to target this bastard. Okay. Did you get stuck again? No, you got unstuck, oh, okay. Okay, guys, we finally cleared the swamp of all the zombies, so all that's left are, well, the rest of the enemies. What do we have up here? We have some swamp rats. Now, we're familiar with these guys from Gothic 2. Whoa, they're actually pretty... They're actually pretty freaking beefy. Okay, okay, okay. I get the idea. Let's so, see if we can actually... Can I magic them to death? Is that an option? Do we even do any damage with magic? Uh... Oh shit, that was, uh, that was my Iceland spell. Damn. Uh, we do some damage. Barely any damage, to be honest. Uh, let's uh, reassess. Are they following us? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, okay. Well, it was, uh, was an interesting fight. So they are pretty beefy. Damn, we actually need a better spell. Let's uh, take care of this, this swamp gas drone. Hey, we also leveled up. 30 learning points, which means... Oh, wait. We don't have the... Um, we don't have all the... Damn, we have volume 3. We don't have volume... Damn. It's problematic. Uh, let's see. Let's... Um, let's uh, read these recipes. So, grape juice. Okay. Honey cookies. And... Some pumpkin compote. Okay. Let's uh, eat up. Let's uh, eat some fish soup. 
So what do we have up ahead? Has some swamp blood flies. Now I'm assuming these guys are gonna be. Oh, they have ranged attacks. Most interesting. Most interesting indeed. Well, let's uh, eat some mushroom cutlets then. I'm trying to do a very difficult balance between. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That nearly took our head off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. That's uh, quite a lot of damage, actually. Uh, so let's see the swamp rats. Let's uh, use our mana for the swamp rats. Okay, we use quite a lot. Good, good, good. Let's uh, eat some more mushroom cutlets. Get a quick fish soup. And run away. And now just run away. Live to fight another day. And run away some more. When in doubt, run away. And eat. Another mushroom cutlet. The question is, can I melee you partially? Maybe just partially. Okay, okay. This works, this works. This works, okay. Okay, got a couple of swamp rats. Swamp rat tallow. Cool, cool, cool. How are we doing on mana? Okay, we have enough mana for about 11 lightning spells. Let's uh, weaken these uh, swamp blood flies a bit. Put some damage inside. And avoid that... Uh... Okay, we avoided all of their attacks. Good, good, good. Just hide behind this place. And recover some more mana. So this is basically our simple rotation at this point. Uh, let's uh, get some herbs too in us as well. Okay, we need to cook more mushroom cutlets. Okay, and... Okay, avoid... Oof. I could have sworn I avoided that... Uh, that one. Damn. Uh, what can we eat? Uh, scavenger and pumpkin shashlik. Yeah. Let's uh, eat a couple of those, actually. Okay. Let's uh, quickly loot the blood flies. Try not to aggro that uh, swamp golem. There's a couple of them, actually. Uh, there should also be a swamp rat in the distance, right? Yep. Let's uh, try to weaken him as much as possible. Come on. Damn, they bite hard. Damn, they bite hard. Okay, let's uh, eat some more. Eat more stuff. Uh, more fish soup. We're actually starting to run low on food, considering how much damage we're taking. So we're level 13. Pretty confident we can actually clear the swamp. The question is how much damage we'll take before the swamp is cleared. Uh, we just need to brace this guy against the wall. Possible, it's just tedious. Okay, so he does take damage. Yeah, let's uh, skip until he's dead. Okay, he's a dead end. So, what do we have here? A few gold pieces, sure. A uh, couple of burned out huts. Anything good in these huts? Maybe a magic book or something? No? Uh, there's a cave over here. Gotta be careful because I have no idea what's in this cave. Anything to our right? No. 
So, oh, there's a... There's a magical circle. Oh, and an evil red light over there. I heard some... I heard a very evil wind. Uh, I'm hearing undead. I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit scared. I'm hearing undead. Question is what type of undead? Uh, I'm hearing fighting. Is anybody fighting? Uh, what am I hearing in the distance? So, goblin skeletons over there. Okay. And there's also a full blown skeleton. Let's uh, scout out this secondary tunnel. What's up here? I see three goblin skeletons and a full skeleton. Okay, this is a bit, uh, this is a bit sketchy. This is a very sketchy area. Can I, uh, can I close this gate again? Okay, good. That's exactly what I, what I want to do. I want to close that gate. For now, at least. Okay, are all the gates closed? Good. Uh, I'm gonna circle back here once I have some better spells. I don't really feel confident just yet handling those. Let's uh, finish uh, clearing the swamp of beasts, first of all. Um, let's see. More river blood flies. Swamp blood flies, sorry. So avoid the uh, projectile heads. Pretty easy to avoid, actually. Although it seems I'm too incompetent to actually avoid them. Uh, eat some more fish soup, sure. Now, let's see. What do we have up here besides some swamp blood flies? Can I target the other one? Yeah, that one. Uh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, I don't want that to happen. I don't want to have him close in uh, melee range. Damn. Uh, let's... Uh, I kind of want to run away from him, to be honest. The issue is that their projectiles are pretty fast. Oh, come on! Exactly as I was about to... God damn it. Okay, you just stay up there. Okay, let's pop another blue elder decoction. I'm gonna put uh, 10 learning points into alchemy. Okay, that's a... Uh... It's one dead swamp blood fly. Let's uh, get his friend now. Okay. Let's uh, hide behind this tree. Uh, this is our last blue elder decoction. We're actually starting to run low on uh, mana stuff. Hmm. It's gonna be tricky. Come on, stop moving. Thank you. Uh, let's uh, hide behind this tree. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's analyze the situation. How are we doing on, let's see, Islander beer, restores some hit points. Berry compote, uh, the rum restores mana. I'm pretty certain the rum is gonna be used in some other recipes, right? Uh, the raspberry tincture seems like a huge waste. Like it's 18 mana points. Um, <laughs> yeah, fine. 
it. Screw it. Let's use it. Okay, let's... Whoa. Whoa, that was, a, that was actually a pretty close one. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's... Uh, we need to be careful. We need to be exceptionally careful. One more hit and we're dead. Uh, let's uh, try to... Hmm. Is this gonna work? I can't even tell if the hits are connecting or not. I'm assuming they are. But then again, it's not bleeding, right? Uh, let's see. Give it a few more hits. No, I don't think the hits are actually connecting. Let's uh, just try to back away. Back away carefully. Okay. Ouch. I thought I actually dodged that. That was bullshit. That was a bullshit hit. Okay, fine. At least they're both dead. Let's see. I have the sneaky suspicion that there's a couple of zombies in this area. Let's see. What do we have? Some mud turtles in water. Okay, let's uh, quickly eat some of this. And let's prepare this for eating. Okay, that's one dead mud turtle. Oh, a couple of more swamp blood flies there. Marvelous. Okay. How are we doing on experience anyway? Oh, 26%. It's actually not bad. Let's uh, eat our shepherd's roast marinated in wine. Hey, a varied health. More health. Awesome. Let's see, what do we have up here? This swamp is actually pretty damn dangerous. Uh, let's see, what do we have up here? Just some abandoned huts? Oh, this is Fane the Skeleton! Oh, this guy is pretty awesome. This is a friendly skeleton, he's just sleeping. He's not actually dead. Uh, you can try to attack him, but uh, you don't do any damage to him, so he's just resting. He is a friendly skeleton. Also has a nice uh, voice actor. Ooh, a summon bear scroll. I think I know what I'm gonna use that bear. Uh, there's a zombie here as well. Uh, okay. Hey, Fane. Uh, don't mind us. Just gonna go into the deep water. Uh, quick save the game, and I'm just gonna dispatch the skeleton real quick. And okay, the skeleton, uh, sorry, the zombie is gone. It's to Nema. Cool, cool, cool. Let's uh, see what else we can find. So that's Fane over there. We are gonna go talk to Fane, but first I wanna... I really wanna make sure I've cleared this uh, swamp properly. We have some goblin skeletons. We are in the misty marshes right now. Uh, thank you. So what do we have? Is it just one goblin skeleton? I guess if it's just one, Funky can handle one. Let's see how much damage it does. It doesn't do all that much damage, but it's pretty tanky actually. Or maybe not that tanky. Okay. And how are we doing on mana? Pretty bad, actually. Uh, we are actually starting to run out of food. Which is pretty neat, in a way. It means our investment has been... Uh, well chosen. Question is...
I see another goblin skeleton. There's actually a couple up there. Hmm. Is there another one in this... Uh... I keep hearing goblin skeletons over there. Uh, it's gonna be dicey. It's gonna be dicey. Let's try to do as much damage as possible and run away. Maybe... Maybe we don't need to run away, actually. Man, I really love two-handed swords. That's why I picked two-handed swords, by the way, in Gothic. I know one-handed swords are way faster. But these two-handed ones really keep the enemy at range. So let's see, what do we have up here? I'm hitting some more goblin skeletons. I think I see one over there. Uh, yep, there's a couple. Okay. And... Oh, Alright, we're doing... Okay, unexperience. The unexperience we really need... Okay, three goblin skeletons. At least they're spaced out so they don't aggro all of us at once. Uh, all of them at once, sorry. I have the sneaky suspicion there's also a goblin skeleton somewhere in that hut over there. Uh, is that a troll in the distance I see? It looks like one. Not sure if we can handle a troll at this point. We can handle you though. Come on, just a couple of more hits. Oh, oops, I didn't want to do that. I took some free damage over there. So is that a swamp troll? Yes, it is. I have no idea what, what its aggro range is. Okay, it seems to be standard, actually. Alright, we're gonna circle back to the swamp troll eventually. Earth Aloe. Earth Aloe is used to make permanent resistance potions. Issue is, we do not have the... Um, I don't think we'll be able to actually make them if we don't pick alchemy. So yeah, there's a... Goblin Skeleton in there. Uh, let's say hi. Hi! Hello! So this does bring a question to mind. Do all uh, goblins turn into skeletons or uh, do they have to be... Ooh, a lightning spell, cool. Or do they have to be in an evil area or do they actually have to be resurrected by a necromancer? So let's see, what do we have up here? Uh, oh, <laughs> you actually fell. You actually fell from up there. Poor little guy. I mean, if you weren't dead, that would have hurt us hell. Uh, let's eat some... Um, I'm also hearing a zombie. I'm assuming it's down there. Ouch. Uh, I guess I took a cue from the goblin skeleton and fell on my face. I heard a zombie somewhere. Also a lot of swamp weed in this swamp. Who would have guessed? Swamp weed in the swamp. Now let's see, what do we have here? Yep. Oh. Do I really need to fight you? You guys are so boring at this point. You're not even interesting enemies. You just don't stagger. That's it. Um. Fine, let's... Um... Can I just, uh, sort of cheese you? Can I cheese you a bit? Let's see, can I get you stuck on a ledge somewhere? You guys are pretty stupid. You get stuck in everything. Uh, I have an idea, actually. Oh yeah, I can get you stuck over here, can't I? Because you guys are pretty retarded. Yep. And he's dead. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see, now what do we have here? We have a pouch. 
Uh, anything else? Any interesting stuff? A small quiver of arrows. Uh, I'm interested. Ooh, a water fist. Is that a rune or a spell? Uh, what was it? Was it inside the hut? Uh, it's just a spell scroll. Just hoping for something better. Ah, uh, meadow not weeds, sure. Well, since we have 30 learning points and we're actually gonna level up soon again, let's uh, might as well learn alchemy, right? The basics of alchemy. So, 10 learning points, yeah. Let's learn it. Let's see, what do we have up here? What else do we have? Uh, we have the Swamp Troll. Uh, and I think if I remember right, there's also a secret up here, right? Uh, an essence of healing, sure. Uh, what is the essence? What is the essence? So, an essence. And there's actually a, more than one secret, so... There's also a ledge over there in the distance, but I don't think we can jump it without acrobatics. That's kind of the issue over there. So, the Swamp Troll. Can we kind of bypass it? I'm not... Don't really feel confident about dealing with it, but let's make an attempt. Let's see what happens. So, they have a way faster turn... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They are way stronger than I remember. Hmm. Well, here's the issue. If we backpedal, if you use the backpedal tactic, they should actually be pretty easy to kill, right? Uh, quote unquote, easy. So, um, let's get some food in us first of all. Sweet blueberry bun. Okay. Uh, we have a few potions, but I won't touch those just yet. What else do we have? Berry compote. Uh, yeah, might as well drink one of those as well. And some grape juice. Okay, let's uh, quick save the game. Let's just try the backpedal tactic, see if it works or not. Okay, it seems to be working. It's actually working too well. Uh, we did take some damage. So yeah, we just hit once, backpedal. Hit once, backpedal. Hit once, backpedal. It's actually a bit too easy. Okay, so let's just skip to the point where it's dead, because I find this this fight a bit tedious. Ah! Okay. Okay, I got the tactic, so it's doable. I just hit back. Uh, I actually found a secondary tactic, which is even easier. And this works. Raw troll meat, swamp troll skill, and troll skill. Troll skill. Pfft. Troll skin, for frick's sake. Forgot how to speak again. Troll skin, troll skin, come on. So yeah, uh, the fight wasn't that difficult. I just uh, climbed up there. I still could target him. Kushi's sword, so I'm guessing this is... Um, the skeleton is Kushi. 95 dexterity. 130 damage. But it's not extremely valuable, huh? Okay, I'm guessing this is gonna be a potential uh, quest reward. Uh, quest reward. Quest um, something something. So yeah, as far as I know, the only way we can actually get up there... Oh, we can actually... Oh, we can do the wall jump. Okay, okay. What do we have up here? So, skeleton that probably died of fright. I'm guessing you are fun as friend, right? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna try to jump down there without dying. 
Ah, barely made it. Barely made it. Hey, Fane. Still sleeping? Sleeping on the job. Gonna report you to the Undead Workers Commission. To the Undead Union. Sleeping on the job and you're not paying your dues. Okay, uh, if I remember right, I also had some... Um, restores 5% of life every 2 seconds. Lasts for 3 minutes. Now, that's actually gonna be good for a prolonged fight. Uh, let's... Uh, oh yeah, the pumpkin compote. It's actually very useful. Uh, restore some mana and hit points. Sure, works for me. So, 66%... Towards the next level up. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. What else do we have over here? I'm gonna loot the place once everything is cleared. And I'm just gonna highlight uh, if there's anything uh, really good. I'm hearing more skeletons. I'm guessing they are in the cave near us. Maybe. Uh, what do we have here? Besides the swamp weed. Oh, this bug again. Okay, so get the swamp weed. Uh, anything else? I don't see anything else. Other than some swamp weed. I'm curious what is the swamp weed gonna be used for in the future? I mean, besides making joints, I mean. Let's uh, have the small lightning equipped, just in case. So yeah, we've uh, circled around at this point. Should also be... A swamp Golem over there, okay. Let's uh, handle the Swamp Golem real quick. So, quick save the game. And just uh, fast forward until it's dead. Okay, so I think I found the location of the second book. And it's in this... Uh, it might be in this hut, which is, uh, if we go in here at night, it's usually a trap. Uh, it might even be a trap during the day. Not entirely certain. Uh, let's uh, see if we can get the book without triggering the ambush. So, you can see that this guy hung himself, right? Uh... I'm not mistaken there might anything here. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So at night, this place is actually pretty scary. Uh, we're gonna come back here at night at a certain point in the game. Just so you can see why it's so scary. It's it's a really cool place. So an ice arrow rune, okay. Mana regeneration potion, awesome, and a blue alder decoction, okay. So I brewed a bunch of these things. I bought the recipe from Lockfar. Also made a lot of food. Hopefully it's gonna be enough to clear the misty marshes. So let's uh, finish reading the last uh, circle books, right? So uh, did I read this one? Book one of three. Uh, volume one. Volume 2 and Volume 3. Oh, we are actually missing a level to read Volume 3. Okay, that's actually not a problem. Uh, we can just go back uh, down into the marshes and let's see, Swamp Bloodfly. Hmm, just three of them actually. Very tempted to summon a bear on them, but I think it might be a waste of resources. Uh, actually, let's see how much damage an ice arrow does, by comparison. So, it's approximately the same amount of damage. Okay. Uh, let's pop a blue elder decoction, because that's why I made them, right? Uh, it's tempting. I'm actually gonna make use one of these. Oh, we actually get experience from uh, from using them. Cool. Now, where the hell did those uh, blood flies fly off to? 
Let me fly off to... Oh yeah, they, they flew down there. Huh. Huh. Oh, that's problematic. That's really problematic. We should actually pop uh, one of these as well. So we can pop both. Let's uh, also kill this mud turtle, shall we? It's, uh, it's actually a pretty tricky fight. Okay. Gotta be super careful. Super, super careful. Uh, feel like I'm really wasting the... Oh, no, 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 no. I feel like I'm really wasting the the mana potion. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just need one good hit. Okay, so one's dead. A uh, couple of more to the right. Trying to get a good angle on them, without them having a good angle on us. Okay. This works. As long as it do they don't turn towards us, this is actually doable. So, I'm curious, uh, do those mana regen potions and health regen potions... Do their timer actually show up? Like, is it gonna show up when we... When it expires? Because that's the question, right? Okay, I wanna quickly loot these... Um... So, do we have a speed potion? We do not. Okay, let's uh, quickly loot up... What is the last uh, blood fly? Over here. Let's uh, get the mud turtle. And let's see if we have enough time to go to that cave and clear it. The issue is I forgot in which direction it was. I think it was to the left. Was it to the left or was it to the right? I can't remember. I think it was to the left. I think. Like it's in this direction. But the potions might actually expire. Damn, Swamp Wind did block my path. Potions might actually expire before... Uh, we clear that area. I'm not even sure if uh, loading and reloading the game makes the potions go away. Okay, let's uh, let's make an attempt. Let's see what happens. Quick save the game. I know there's a skeleton over there. That might be the um, difficult one to kill. Okay, a couple of goblin skeletons, we can handle those. Okay. I can't tell if we're healing or not, but I don't think we are. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Uh, let's see. Oh, the skeleton archer, actually. That's interesting. Uh, it's a couple of them, I think. Yeah, it's a couple of them. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. That's really interesting. If I... Uh... If I close the distance... Okay, I think I pulled a goblin skeleton by accident. Uh, let's kill the goblin skeleton, I guess. Yeah, I can actually see how it's... Uh, the mana potion is fading, so I'm guessing it's... Uh, it's about to disappear, right? Yeah, I'm guessing... Yeah, it's gone. 
it's gone. Uh, if we back away, I'm curious, if we back away just a bit, and we close the distance, oh, that's bad, that's bad, oh, that's actually bad, <laughs> five hit points left, oh, that's really bad, uh, let's, uh, oh, uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. is he bugged? Uh, let's uh, see if we can quick save the game. And let's see if we can. Uh... I wanted to close the distance on him and uh, brace him against the wall and kill him like that. So he can survive maybe a couple of uh, hits. Maybe three, depending on damage. Okay, so we're healing. Potion is still active. But we're not healing, are we? Oh, the potion got bugged. Well, that sucks. Well, this just means we need to heal the old-fashioned way. Uh, let's eat some uh, Arizona wine. So, 30 hit points, 90 mana. Okay, let's just eat it for the sake of... Uh, Variety, I guess. Uh, oof. Okay, this was a, this was a really close one, so it's doable. We can actually brace them against the wall. So, ah, they have skeleton archers now, huh? An old bow. And they actually do have arrows as ammunition. Cool. Now let's see, do we have any healing spells? We do not. We do have a Sus Devil. But we're just a few experience points short of actually being able to use one. So let's uh, eat the mushrooms too. Let's eat... What else can we eat? Scavenger and Pumpkin Shashlik. Oh, we actually... Oh, that's actually a, uh, a potion that temporarily increases our hit points. It doesn't offer mana... Uh, it doesn't offer hit point regen. My bad. I read that wrong. So this potion just increases our hit points by 150. Okay. I can, uh, I can live with that. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's see. What else do we have over here? I'm hitting some scary stuff. I'm hitting stuff I don't like. Uh, what's over here? What is over here? Uh, are those demons? Are those imps? Are those imps? Giant bats? For real, we have giant bats. Okay. And they actually do quite a lot of damage. Well, screw me. Okay. So that was the sound I was hearing. Was the giant bats. Huh. Go figure. Go figure. Uh, let's eat some more shashliks. So, I think we can actually do a lot of damage to them with the small lightning. And just in case, let's uh, have our blue elder decoction ready. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, so... Oh yeah, they are actually giant. They're pretty scary. They are pretty scary. Okay. Uh, let's eat some... Um, mushroom cutlets, I guess. Okay, 
Okay, so they're doable. That's the important thing. They're doable. Yeah, this cave is actually pretty cool. A um, lot of stuff to harvest. Actually, before we engage the, um, the bats... Uh, actually, never mind. Let's eat more mushroom cutlets. Let's eat even more mushroom cutlets. So yeah, unfortunately our uh, <clears throat> small lightning spell Does very little damage. Uh, let's try not to get hit by this guy again. Okay. Our mushroom cutlets uh, spell. Jesus. Not the mushroom cutlets spell. It's a small lightning spell. Screw me. Um, there's very little damage to these little bastards. And I can't even tell if they're healing or not. Can't even tell if it's... I can't even tell if it's permanent damage or not. But it's doable, so let's just flash forward to the point where we kill them. Okay, so we finally handled these giant bats and it cost me quite a lot of resources actually. Uh, let's buy a blue elder decoction and yeah, some uh, apples in pastry as well. And let's see. What did we get for all our hard efforts? So, a bunch of iron deposits. These are gonna come in handy. And what else? Uh, I saw a bow somewhere around here. More iron deposits. Okay, okay. I can dig that. No pun intended. Can we... Can we improve our extraction skill, Marvin, just a bit? We've been uh, mining for a while. It's the bow. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Decayed longbow. Okay, and a bunch of decayed arrows as well. So, uh, pop a torch. You can barely see anything. So, another iron deposit over here. Come on, Marvin. Increase your skill a bit. Please. I actually need to be at 100% skill when we mine the really precious stuff like magic ore. There are also magic ore nuggets. So let's uh, mine this iron deposit. Okay, plus two. Thank you, Marvin. That was actually a lot of uh, misses. What? what am I missing? I'm hearing some more, uh, some more bats somewhere. Uh, teleportation rune, finally, thank you. So right, 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 four rights, and one, four lefts and one right, actually. So light mahogany bow, crossbowman's friend, 70 strength, 105 damage. It's actually pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay. And I'm hearing somebody doing smithing. Ooh, heal medium wounds. That's actually pretty awesome. So it's a level... It's a level 3 spell. So it costs 20% of mana. Returns 200 hit points of user's maximum mana. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. We also leveled up, by the way. And we are at level 15. Which means we can read the second circle volume... I already read that. Second circle volume 3. Which means... We are in the second circle of magic. We can use... The Dust Devil spell now. Cool, 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 cool. So, upgrades. Uh, what do we have here? It's Amulet of Magic. Is it different than what I have? I know I already have one amulet. So yeah, what I have is actually way better than this one. Okay, okay. 
let's uh, grab our torch. So I am definitely hearing some um, some bats somewhere. Ooh, missed uh, an iron deposit over here. Well, let's quickly grab it. Okay, thank you, Marvin. You're finally learning some stuff. Okay, let's see what else we have. Uh, okay. Now I've been to this side uh, off screen. There were just three goblin skeletons. Uh, and this place is spooky. This place is spooky. Uh, this guy uh, hung himself. He was on a chair. Damn, this guy committed suicide. It's actually pretty concerning. What the hell happened in this cave? Uh, let's uh, quick save the game. This cave is actually a bit scary. And I'm hearing smithing. Is that an undead smith? So right, 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 right. Five rights. So five rights and one left. Five rights. One left. Okay. Uh, I see a giant rat. A uh, giant bat, sorry. Uh, can I cast a dust devil on your ass? How many jam bats are there? Just one? Yeah, but I'm not sure that actually had any effect. Okay, let's uh, pop a blue elder decoction. Uh, Cause... Um... There's a couple of them, right? Yep, there's a couple of them. I, sh I should have sus- I should have suspected. Okay, let's uh, heal up. Real quick. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ouchie. That hurt. Ouchie. Ah, uh, damn. That actually hurt. Okay, let's uh, handle them. Oh, small cover of bolts. Thank you. Uh, let's uh, handle them. Um... Let's handle them off screen because it's a, it's gonna imply a lot of hit and run tactics, right? Tastes juicy and fresh. So okay, let's handle them off screen real quick. Okay, so we've uh, cleared the bats. And I'm hearing somebody smithing. And they just stopped. It was actually scary. Uh, if you want to know what it was, like, if you really want to know who was smithing, uh, who was doing that, just gonna quick load the game, uh, enter the free cam mode, so I can show you what the game just did, what the developers just did. So it's a ghost, actually. There's a ghost there that's smithing. So, if I enter free cam ah, mode, yeah. and you can actually see, it's a ghost! Yes, it's quite literally a ghost, and when we approach this guy, he disappears. So, if we close Marvin mode, and just quickly enter the room, yep, he disappears. So, Magic Circle, the third circle, volume 4. Uh, okay. So, let's see. So, this guy was probably a smith, so I'm guessing that's his ghost? Smithing away through eternity? I'm guessing that was the implication here? Does anything bad happen if I open this chest? So, left, right, left, left, right... Left, right, left, 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 right, left, left, right, left, left. So a ruby blade diagram the judgment. Uh, wow, that's actually a very cool weapon. Uh, head smasher. 
and some shards of magic ore and more ore nuggets. Cool, cool, cool. So, anything else in this area? I think we'd actually clear the cave by now. Is anything bad gonna spawn on the way out? Did the ghost respawn? It did! That's interesting. That's really interesting. That's actually super interesting. So, yeah, some, some shady stuff happened in this cave. Some really shady stuff. Uh, this is actually a very cool cave, by the way. The Misty Marshes, I'm assuming it's a reference to Lord of the Rings. Uh, and in the Misty Marshes, the ghosts of the dead still haunt the place. So I'm guessing this is a Lord of the Rings reference, right? Okay, okay. So, I'm guessing uh, we just completed the Misty Marshes as an area. Because I don't see anything else what, uh, what we can clear. We can, however, this is something I really want to do. Uh, we need to make our way towards the um, monastery. There's a guy on the road that actually sells some very cool recipes that we're going to need. Uh, some of them I think are related to permanent resistance of cooking recipes, food recipes. Uh, we are going to loot this place off screen. If I find anything good, I'll show you guys. Uh, we cleared this area already. This was the area with the swamp blood flies, right? Oh, you guys again. You guys again. Oh, screw you guys. You guys. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Oh, I don't actually have... Hey! That's not very nice. Screw you! Screw you, damn swamp rat. Uh, let's uh, pop a blue air decoction. And more apples and pastry. Uh, the ice arrow is not a bad spell. It's not a bad spell at all. Issue is, it's just one minor step above... Uh, Above the small lightning spell. Seria looks uh, a bit spooky. It's a bit claustrophobic. Any enemies could be on the left or right of us and I wouldn't even see them. Actually, I actually think I cleared... Yeah, I uh, cleared the Seria, right? Okay, so we need to go to the right. Towards the... Um, Okay, those are the works I initially wanted to avoid. Okay, this area is uh, really dangerous. A lot of works. Blood flies. We can easily handle these. So, aggro this uh, just a boar. Just a boar, please. <laughs> Wait, how are you doing on experience? Uh, not bad. Not bad. Nic tu nie ma. Uh, we're just gonna play for just a teensy weensy bit. Kill this blood fly, kill that blood fly, and. Guess I'm gonna kill you as well. Is that a warg up there? Or a boar? I think it's a boar. Can actually handle the boars. But I'm not really interested in boards at all. Really, dude? You thought you could ambush me from behind? But it was me, Dio. Okay, so we have the salt mine up ahead. It's actually close to us, and if we try to enter, they will uh, sound the alarm. These giant rats are actually super easy to handle. 
I'm curious how much, uh, yeah, we need a lot of experience now to level up. I'm guessing we're gonna gain maybe 10 more levels. Uh, in chapter 1, so that's about 100 more experience points, right? So let's see, what do we have here? Uh, there are harpies in the distance, right? Uh, harpies. Let's uh, see what we can eat. Let's uh, eat some apples. Hey, plus one strength, thank you. And um, what else can we eat? I kind of don't want to fight that harpy. But on the other hand, it's not really super difficult. Where the hell did it go? Did it go down there? Why do I have the feeling it fell down? Yeah, no, no, there, it, there she is. I, I see her. Okay, let's uh, handle this harpy, I guess. See if I can uh, melee you now. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. Oh, uh, let's eat some more uh, of this stuff. Fish soup with herbs. And, uh, let's uh, just uh, try to do more damage to the little harpy over there. Okay, she's almost dead. Pop a blue elder decoction. I actually think we can jump down there directly. And we can even fight this crab. Mr. Crab, back away, Mr. Crab. Back away, I say. Back, he beast. Back, he beast from hell. I just pulled a commander move. I jumped off a bridge. Electrocuted a harpy. You are not gonna ruin my moment. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this crab and then talk to that guy. And that's gonna be the end of this episode. We're already past the one hour mark. But uh, I'm having so much fun. I really don't wanna... Stop playing, to be honest. This game is really awesome. So many stuff to do, so many uh, things to see, so many mobs to kill, people to talk to. It's a crying shame that I'm... Uh, I know I shouldn't be in this area. I shouldn't be able to explore certain areas, but then again, I, if they didn't want me to clear the map, they shouldn't have given me a super awesome armor. Or the ability to buy it. Okay, that's it for this crab. Okay, so what do we have here? Any fishy fish to to fish? Any fishing spots? No. I see an oyster spot, an openable shell, another openable shell. So what do we have here? Do you have any goodies for us, sir? First of all, I want to see if he has a chest, and if yes, if he has anything valuable in said chest. So let's uh, eat some more apples, eat some more fish soup, and we also need a lot more dark mushrooms. Oh yeah, as long as your uh, back is against the wall, I'm happy. Beer, okay. Stove. Oh, water pipe. Okay, doesn't actually see me. So, right, right, three rights. Uh, the fisherman's cauldron recipe, river mud soup. Okay. And a couple of these as well. Okay. Uh, let's just go out now. And I'm not sure if this guy's name is actually Carrier or if his uh, job is that of a carrier. 
Let's find out. Uh, no, no. What do you do? Czym się zajmujesz? Za parę monet pozwolę ci władować się na moją łódkę, a następnie popłyniemy gdzie tylko będziesz chciał. Oczywiście w obrębie Archolos, żeby nie było niedopowiedzeń. Aha. A what are you doing? Wody wokół wyspy są teraz dziwnie puste przez zak. Okay. Take me to. Oh, he can actually take me to the monastery. That's interesting. Uh, but I assume. Actually, take me to the monastery. Let's see what happens. Zab. Klasztoru. Oczywiście. What happens? Oh, seriously? You? I could have swum this. This is bullshit, man. This distance is it's is, it's in swimming distance for f frick's sake. You kidding me, sir? Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna end the game right here. I am really frustrated now. You just scam me for ten gold pieces. Like, look, I can see the bridge from here. He just rode for a minute. Have you no shame, sir? Have you no shame? Don't make me take out my sword. You know what I can do with this to you? Odłóż broń. Nie yeah. jesteś wcale taki głupi na I'm putting wyglądasz. away my weapon, but I'm keeping my eye on you. I'm not paying you to take me back. I should I should let these crabs kill you, by the way. Ah fine, let's uh save the game. So thank you guys for watching. It's actually been a blast of an episode. Exploring the Misty Marshes was really cool. Uh especially uh the ghost myth. The Misty Marshes explored. Uh, it's really cool. I really love what we can find in Arcolos so far. I really love the progression and everything. I hope we can get some uh, better runes though. So, thank you guys. Gonna see you next time. And remember, as always, the most important story in the world is your own. Cheers, guys. And take care of yourselves.